Hi everyone, this is Yarn Goddess, and today I'm going to be showing you how to hold a crochet hook, start a chain stitch, and start your first single crochet stitch. If you had purchased one of my crochet starter kits first, thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate it. If the written instructions were a little bit confusing, you are definitely, you know, not wrong to be confused. Crocheting is tricky the first time you attempt it and it takes practice and sometimes a couple tries before you really get it. So hopefully this video will be able to show you in more detail how to hold a crochet hook, how to start a chain stitch, and how to do single crochet. So first, we're going to practice holding a crochet hook. I tell people that the best way to hold a crochet hook is to hold it the best way as comfortable. Some people hold it like a pencil, some people hold it like a steak knife. I kind of hold it in between. For your chain stitch, you have what we call the loose end, which is where the yarn ends, and the working end, which is attached to the rest of the yarn. Your working end is always going to start behind your hand. That's basically going to allow the yarn to be fed into your crochet as you work. The loose end should be at the bottom of your hand so that you don't work with it and then run out of yarn for your project. The first thing you want to do is make an X over your index finger. I'm right-handed, so if you are left-handed, just do the opposite of this video. Let your left hand, you know, make an X over your index finger. And what we're going to do is take your crochet hook and stick it under the first loop here. To get the second strand to come through, you're going to take your crochet hook and twist it under just a little bit and then pull back and feed it through the loop. Once when you have this, remove your index finger carefully and basically pull down on the loose end and the working end to make a nice slip knot. To make sure that you didn't just make a knot in the edge, make a slip knot. See if you could pull both strands in the opposite direction and if it comes undone without making another knot, you did it correctly. If you do make a knot, just practice it again. So here we go, make an X under the first strand. Twist the crochet hook just a little bit and pull through. Remove your index finger and then pull both strands downward to make a slip knot. Now that you have your slip knot, you're going to be using the same motions again. And you can either wind your hook back, or if you're a beginner, yarn your yarn over the hook. Holding the yarn in place is also something that takes practice. I hold it like this using my thumb and my middle finger and having the working end kind of pinch between the rest of my fingers so I could feed it through. Honestly, just hold it the best way as comfortable for you because with crocheting, you're going to be sitting there for a while and you don't want to be uncomfortable. So now that you have your yarn yarned over the hook, you're going to do the same motion we did earlier and twist and pull through the loop. If you have a hard time getting the crochet hook through the loop, practice making the loop a little bit bigger and then pull the yarn through. If your loop is too tight, you won't be able to get the hook through. Um, I usually use the bottom of the hook here as a guide for my sizing so that I don't make the loop either too small or too big. So I'm going to do it again, yarn over, and then pull through. Now I know I'm making this look super easy but I've been crocheting for a while. So take your time, be patient with yourself. Yarn over and pull through. Now if you're wondering how do I keep count your chain stitch has these little V's basically. So you have one V here, one V there, one V right there. And as long as you count in between each V, that will be one chain stitch. So we have one, two, three. Let's get to six, four, five, six. And there you go. You can see here the little V's. So we have one, two, three, four, 
five, six. Feel free to pause the video if you need to, or if you're having a hard time you to rewatch something, you're more than welcome to pause and rewind the video. I am going to keep it going. And now we're going to work with our first chain stitch. So the second chain from our hook. This is the first chain. This is the second chain stitch from our hook. We're going to stick the crochet hook right in top. And we're going to have two loops on the crochet hook. You want to yarn over. So now you have three loops and pull the thread through. So now you're back down to two. You're going to yarn over again and then pull the yarn through both loops. And that is your first chain stitch. And do it again, top of the V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over again, pull through both loops. And just keep practicing that motion. The cool thing about crocheting is that you don't really do different motions of movement. They're the same thing, just, you know, either yarn over one time or two times or zero times. All stitches kind of build up on top of each other. So for the final thing, once we have all of our chain stitches done, you should have five. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and you have the same kind of v-stitch on top of the same crochet so you keep count the same way as your chain stitch. To work your way up and to keep your edges straight, you're going to chain one and then turn. And right in between, basically underneath both, underneath the v right here, you're going to go in between, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through again. And your next stitch will be right here, but basically in the next V. So you're going to go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through again. Go through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And just keep practicing all the way across. The cool thing about serum crochet is that you can use it for a plethora of patterns. Um, in your box, you should have a quick pattern for either a washcloth or a head wrap or a couple of simple projects that just require you to practice using the same stitches over and over again. But there you have it. That's how you do a chain stitch, hold a crochet hook, and start your serum crochet. If you have any questions, leave your question in the comment section below. And, you know, I hope you enjoy this video and that you guys are <laughs> crocheting along with me. If you have any other questions that aren't that weren't in this video but you just have questions about crochet in general feel free to shoot me a message on any of my social media and also don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you guys on the next video bye